Hello everyone, as you can see there is the mini PC from Intel, Intel NUC. Um, it's quite latest, not that old. As you can see this is built-in HDMI connector with 12 volt DC port and Ethernet connector plus to 2.0 USB port and speaker out. Okay. So today what are you going to do? We're going to upgrade the SSD. Right now currently 120 GB SSD which is SATA uh, 2.5 inch so now we're gonna upgrade it to to one terabyte so let's check out how to do that okay so put it upside down and as you can see there are a few screws all of them looks like similar so you can start from anywhere that you want okay. so I'm gonna start from the left So take the flat tool and squadger it. Should come out. If it doesn't, that means still it's not unscrewed. Okay, so that's the actual back part. Comes with uh, ventilation, you know, for cooling, as you can see here. Okay. So the first impression, you can see the hard drive. So that is so simple to replace it. It's not like ordinary desktop or laptop. Okay. So this. SSD secured with a caddy and this caddy secured with three screws okay which is Philips you can use the same tool yeah, hopefully this is not too big yeah. pick it up all the screws here all of them same in size so don't worry about arranging now one second. a lot of people they like to actually take out the actual connector set a connector but I believe we don't have to take it out anyway disconnect all the flex that you can see okay the best way to take out this to Three screws first. Check it out. And one more left. We definitely need a screwdriver. Okay. This is just underneath the flex, so this is not that much visible. Make sure you take it out first before you pull out the actual bolt. Okay. Now, I can just disconnect the SSD. Take out the screws if you want to, or you can leave it like that. All right. So let's check out the actual inside. What is in there? If you take out this part, you're gonna see. Uh, 4GB DDR3 RAM Intel Wi-Fi card and other components now let's close it back good still on the place I always like to connect it first and I will see what I can do. Good. Put it back to the place. Fine. Three screws goes back here. One second.
disconnect this uh, one thing. And this is the last one three and then another three four screws in total 16 here there and here it's fine should be right here good So now we're going to reinstall Windows 10 on it and we'll see how does it work.